Woo! Despite my channel being a family-friendly channel with content suitable for all ages, this Let's Play series of Ghost Trick Phantom Detective has been rated T for Teen due to it featuring mild language and mild violence. So viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey everybody, welcome back to Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. Hey, does anyone want to know uh, how the game ends? <laughs> no. <laughs> the game ends with Jesus Christ coming back and being like, Oh, hey, you're dead? Well, guess what? Yeah, I'm reviving you from the dead. <laughs> we are Jesus Christ and we're going to rise from the dead. Here's the thing. Days. Here's the thing. I would not actually be surprised if that happened. <laughs> that would... Because I don't know what's going to happen, but Artie told me that it's just insane. It gets insane in the later chapters. I think we still have maybe two chapters where it's still relatively tame, and then the plot gets okay. kicked into overdrive. I don't know. We just saw a guy literally revived from a heart attack, so... Yeah, we're on chapter 11, 12, it's 10 a.m. 12 a.m., and where's Camilla? I think she's the one that's kidnapped. The Justice Minister's daughter has been abducted. The kidnappers demand the execution of the death row prisoner Jowd to be carried out tonight. I think it's Camilla that's kidnapped. But we saw that the girl wasn't in her bed. Oddly. I think both of them were kidnapped. <laughs> okay. Lynn says the execution is a mistake, and I believe her. And so I'm paying the kidnapper's hideout a visit to see what I can find out about the abduction. What took you so long? Your instinct was right, beauty, my dear. They had that restaurant surrounded. It took me forever to shake them, and now my poor bike is ready for the scrap heap. She's so tall in comparison to him. Yeah. Next time, maybe you should make it a tricycle so you don't hurt yourself. Ouch, that hurts, beauty. But that's okay, that's what I love about you. Be a little more gentle with our valuable hostage, please. Yes, yes. Always keep a smile on a lady's face. Right, my dear? Stare. See that, beauty? Now there's a smile blooming on your face, too, my dear. Yes. Oh, wry smile. I'm going out for a breath of fresh air. You're on guard duty. I'm also going out for a smoke break. <laughs> Alright, I'll dream of you until you return. Don't be a creep. Why don't you open the trunk for our guest? I will, beauty. I was just taking a little breather. <laughs> mm-hmm. Alright, little lady. Let me open that trunk for you. In reality, he just smuggled the- Oh, I thought he- Beauty. <laughs> Weirdo. Looks like the Justice Minister's daughter really has been kidnapped. And something else is bothering me, too. I don't think I've ever been to this room before. But something about it is giving me a strange sense of deja vu. I've seen something like this before. Really? Do you recognize it? No? Taking something precious to manipulate others, so that's what kidnapping is. The dirty tricks of those without the powers to have the dead come up with. However, if I take that precious thing back, their power vanishes, doesn't it? Is it... the... blue people's room from before, but they completely invaded and destroyed it? Wow, Marty, no. Now then, time to see how the little Justice Minister's little girl is doing. Before this guy wakes up from his dream of beauty. Wait. This entire- you have not seen this contraption before? You have. The stars? Oh my gosh, are you serious, Marty? Take a look at this. Does this look at any way familiar to you? There's the fan. Um... I <laughs> Are you serious right now? No, I, all of these objects look familiar, but I don't remember seeing them all in this place. Does that make any sense? Okay, you know what? Let's just I'll, let's just try to get our way across the room, and I'll see if your memory gets jogged along the way. If it doesn't, well, is this don't the worry. is this the land of the special prime minister lady where she typed? 
Burn the light brighter. Mark. How is it you can call some of the weird plot twists, but oh, wait, like- Holy crap! I'm setting everything on fire! Way to go, Marty. <laughs> oh wait, that actually might have helped us. It did. It's like Al's Spaceland from a Toy Story 2 mm. action game. Spin faster! <laughs> Spin faster! Spin faster! Crap, where have I seen this? Now it's bugging me. Where have I seen this place? For a sec I thought Not it was... place. The stuff in the room. Where have I seen the stuff in the room? Yeah, this room is new, but the stuff we've seen is... is oh! I've already seen something like this once to already tonight. I wonder if this ball does anything. <laughs> Drop a rock on his head. <laughs> or on their head? They're in a case, it's fine. Didn't do much anyway. <laughs> This is one of those things you light with fire, isn't it? As long as there's light in the room, is something like this really necessary? But if something can be lit, it kind of makes me want to light it. I just need another core to reach the trunk and open it. I wonder if I can create a new core. It's a good thing Dandy is a heavy sleeper. Darn! I can't reach my destination from here. Creepy doll. That's fun. Yay! Kermit Zifrig. Alright, I think you're gonna have to go farther backwards in the room. Okay. Good thing this guy's a sound sleeper. Yeah, I know. Well, also, we're kind of silent. We're not really possessing anything that's loud. For a sec, I thought that he had stolen Santa, but no Santa. <laughs> stupid Santa. I can't go back. Oh, wait for the ceiling fan to have the star go on its side. Yeah. Now you're thinking of portals. Now I can get in the garage. <laughs> I love how Santa was like the thing that annoyed you the most in this game. It was so annoying. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, he stole st that. You know, he didn't steal that from Camilla's place, did he? I don't think so. No, it's a door that you open. I can't. I still cannot believe you don't recognize. Wow. I don't. It wasn't don't even that long ago. I don't even remember these things though. Like the the several doll. Like I don't remember a single place we went to that had those. What about the Rube Goldberg machine that murdered Lynn in the basement of the superintendent's office of the junkyard? Where she turns on oh, the light and, like, the Cupid statue comes up? I guess, up? yeah. It's I the exact have... same machine. Okay, well, I wouldn't have... I didn't remember. Wow. How do I get off? Maybe if we spin it even faster, it'll go. No, we only needed that to knock the ball down. How do I get down there? This is kind of creepy music. I mean, there's a lot of stuff to do in this room. Here we go.
<laughs> That'll be fun. Yeah, wake him up. That sounds like a great idea. <sighs> Just my imagination. Just my imagination? That's all he has to say? What an amazingly simple fellow. This room, on the other hand, is starting to look amazingly festive. The question is, how can I use it to my advantage? You haven't even possessed half the stuff on that side. Just my imagination. <laughs> Just my imagination, that's all he has to say? If he was any more laid back, he'd fall right off that crate. But to look at that streamer go spinning round and round. Now how can I make use of that? I can't. That's the answer. Well, let's get back on the shin- Oh, <laughs> yeah, I see. Remember, I've forgotten a lot of these puzzles, so... This is kind of, it's almost like a blind let's play for me too, except I know all the main plot stuff that happens. Why do you keep going back to that candle? Oh, it's not, it's not I lit. It Gotta wait for it to come back. It's just like Santa. <laughs> You're very close. That's only half of what you have to do. Mm. Come on, it's a long dangly rope. Set on fire? I mean, that's one thing you could do. When the flames get really big like this, for some reason I get the urge to burn something. Unfortunately, everything is just out of the flame's reach. We've done this. But I was trying to catch it on fire with the... It's not burning brightly. I didn't have enough timing. You might as well just wait to... What are you doing? I'm trying to make it burn brighter. You and won't then have go enough time. You have to make to it turn faster first. Oh. Jeez. But then I can't get it to go back over there. Yeah, you can. Just do it quickly before it starts to really take up speed. Oh. Yeah. It's not that hard was for me. <laughs> Let's burn the place to the ground! <laughs> Uh-oh. You think of what I'm thinking? What? No, you're not. You're picking your toes. Sorry! <laughs> stop picking your toes in the middle of the recording session! Sorry! Um... <laughs> if you're sorry, then stop doing it. <laughs> Going through... You're the one in charge of the mouse. Jeez. Oh, wait. I could've just... Yeah. Over here and away we... It's so help me if you manipulate that <laughs> stupid candle holder again when it's not doing anything. <laughs> I didn't do anything either. Come on. Lower this the is shame. really not that hard. <laughs> we just had I two of the hardest that. puzzles in the series. This is really not that hard. To the... Oh. Yeah. Just like that. Okay. Now you actually can move this. Fine. Oh, 
<laughs> Just my imagination. <laughs> Just my imagination. Wow. <laughs> Even though there's now something in front of you that wasn't there before. I was right, see? You were right about the not obvious thing and not about the obvious thing. What in the... What's going on here? This little lady is... Camilla. She, we haven't seen her in like five episodes. We haven't seen her in like eight episodes. Yeah. Is this little lady really a daughter of the justice minister? Stop picking your toes. Sorry. Then stop it. Just my imagination. Um. <laughs> She kills him on the spot. What's with the fun book and juice? Like I said, always keep a smile on a lady's face. I wanted to treat our guest well. How about treating me well? I'd like some bread and milk, please. At your service, my dear. Be back in a flash. <laughs> <clears throat> That's a very weird request. Hey, mister! Yes, cute little lady. More juice, perhaps. All you have to do is ask. Have I been... kidnapped? Don't cry, little dear. There's nothing to be afraid of. The surroundings are miserable and filthy, I know, but we just ask for a little patience. Don't say those awful things about this house! Hmm? I don't remember her voice! Not this the house not. is... where I used to live. W what? Really? I apologize, little lady. I'm the one who's miserable and filthy. Forgive me. What's the meaning of this beauty? Why here at this girl's old house? Don't ask me. It was the other party in our deal who chose this location. Oh. Oh, I see. It's been empty for five years, and apparently nobody ever comes here. But never mind that, what about my bread and milk? Oh, of course. Now you be a good girl while I'm gone. I mean, he doesn't seem like an evil person. Like, he's at least treating her nicely. You just read your book and drink your juice. I want to go home! Not quite yet. Double-painted place was Camilla's old house? What's going on here? Trick time. Maybe her father was the really weird pigeon man. <laughs> what in the world? Why does the little lady have a core of the dead? When I helped her out at Lynn's apartment, she didn't have one. So that must mean she must have died sometime after that. And got revived. And it also means somebody else must have saved her. Well, I mean, I wondered if people would have their powers. Maybe Mr. Lamp was like, hum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. I save you! <laughs> I better ask her what happened. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there we go. Who's there? <coughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, I gotta lay off the cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I had something caught in my nose. I've had a stuffy nose, by the way, for like two weeks. Yeah, welcome it's to my world when nuts. I get a stuffy nose. But I never get those, so it's bad. Wait a minute. Is that you, Missile? Missile? I'm sorry. I'm not Missile. My name's Sissel. Sissel? My name's Camilla. Camilla. So it is her. I knew it. What happened to me? What? What is this place? I can hardly tell the poor little fiend this is the land of the dead. The land of the dead? D does that mean I'm dead? Darn! I forgot there are no secrets in the ghost world. You can relax. You're not dead. But this isn't the first time you've been here, apparently. Really? I don't remember. Wait a minute. Maybe I do remember. Sort of. You do? It looks like she doesn't remember being saved very well. Hmm. So there's some other dead person out there with special powers, eh? Anyway, I don't want to press her if she doesn't remember dying. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about something else? Sure, go ahead, sissy. Sissy, eh? <clears throat> Kidnapping. Lynn asked me to do something for her tonight. I know about that part. She asked you to go to the chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive, right? Yeah, but I never got there. 
Now I wish I could say I'm sorry to her. I never should have gone through that park! What park? Oh! Perhaps the Park King revived her! Da -da 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 -da. The Park King is actually a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> he just wears a mask. There, he, he wears all these items that are actually items. <laughs> He's just manipulating them <laughs> all. <laughs> He's like, I'm the Park Ghost! <laughs> that would be hilarious. Tesmic Park, it's the short... Tems Temsic Park, it's the shortcut to Dead End Drive. Is that where the kidnappers grabbed you? Yeah, Lynn always said, I don't like that park. Scary things happen there. Temsic Park, eh? What am I going to do? Lynn's gonna be so mad. She is? How come? Because I left it there. The music box. In the park. You had one job! That's right! The music box! Oh. Music box was hidden in the apartment. I finally found it with a little bit of luck and courage. Guess where it was? Hmm, I don't know. Where? I'll pretend I don't know. You know? You don't have to humor me. Oops. <laughs> so what happened to the music box? I hid it in the bushes in the park just before it happened. Just before? Oh, just before you were kidnapped, huh? I didn't want the bad man to take it, so I hid it. I bet it's still there in the park. You did well. So the music box is in the park. I better let Lynn know. This is your old house? Yep, this is where we lived until five years ago. But now I live with Lynn and Missile. Lynn is like a big sister to you, isn't she? Yep, she's a detective, you know. She's a hero. She is, huh? By the way, about your father... Is he the justice minister? My father's... gone. Gone? Maybe he passed away? No, that's not it. My dad... he's going to die. Oh, no! That's absolutely gonna... Okay, that means Mr. Painting Man, the, the guy Detective who's... Detective Jowd, you mean? Yeah, yeah! That's absolutely gotta be her father, then. Because he's about to die. There couldn't be two people about to die in the same night, in the same location, at the same time. <laughs> Otherwise, her dad is the chicken king. <laughs> it's one or the other. There's literally no other option. It has to be the, the chicken chef or Jowd. Put your votes in the audience, folks. <laughs> what? What do you mean, because of me? Why would you say that? It's called an execution. My dad is... A detective. N no way! Don't tell me your father is Detective Jowd. So let's see, kids. Were you right or wrong? <laughs> Leave, <laughs> Leave a below. comment now. That's right. What in the world? Five years ago, something really bad happened. Like a scary dream. But it wasn't a dream. Five years ago, that murder case. It was Mom's birthday that day. My mom and dad were working and I was home by myself. And then I had an idea. I was going to surprise my mom. I set up that contraption. I'm home, Camilla. I don't know. Why is it dark? <laughs> I, I don't know what, what uh, it's a mom voice. That explains the happy birthday music. Right. So that wasn't her. But she set up the contraption. She set up the contraption, but... She had the problem happen. And then... Mom! Mom! What was that noise? And then that's what happened. Right. That all makes sense. However, how did she know how to make that contraption? Because obviously the weird man was uh, like... Sh she went to Leonardo da Vinci's school for the gi mechanically gifted. No, no, what I'm saying is that same contraption was the thing that almost killed Lynn earlier. It did kill Lynn and then mm -hmm. we stopped it. So this must be something that, like, connects to that. Oh yeah, absolutely, because it's the same contraption. I still can't believe it happened. It wasn't supposed to work like that! Hmm, I know that contraption. And I know how it was supposed to work. Party poppers and a cake. A birthday message.
My dad told me not to tell anybody. Just so, leave it to me, he said. <laughs> so, but then she tells him, the random ghost man that she meets well, in the underworld. Well, he can't do anything about it. My dad wanted to be executed. He asked them for it. But I wanted to tell everybody it was my fault! My dad said what I saw was a bad dream. He told me to forget it. This is all so unbelievably tragic. I can't believe it. This little lady is Detective Jowd's daughter? I just can't tell her. I can't tell her why she was kidnapped. Why was I kidnapped? I want to know! Oops. There are no secrets in the ghost world. Maybe we'd better stop talking. It's too dangerous. Sissy, you're not going to talk to me anymore? I think we'd better get you out of here first. We can talk more after that. Okay, but... I'm going to rescue you now. You just hold on a little longer, alright? Right, we'll have another hide somewhere and then run out of the room thing. Okay, but we'll talk later, right? Don't forget, you promised, sissy. New info has been added. Wow! No time passed during that, so he just got it real fast. What took you so long? <laughs> wow, he was gone for probably 20 seconds. <laughs> yeah. I traveled the entire town in search of the finest bread and milk for you, my dear. Actually, I didn't. I just walked outside and came back in. <laughs> but it's late, and all the shops are closed. I went to the chicken kitchen, though. We're leaving this place right now. What? But he's not here yet. If we couldn't meet at the restaurant, weren't we supposed to meet here? Yes, and he's the one who chose this location. Hmm, I don't like this one bit. We have to run around doing all this extra work, all for the sake of the, his deal. Be quiet. It can't be helped. This place is too dangerous. I told you, my sixth sense is very strong. Alright, as you wish, beauty. I feel it. I sense something here in this room. Uh, is that her? Yeah. Is somebody there? Can you hear me? Is she talking to me? I can sense your presence, you know. The next time I sense you, this child will die. Remember that. Well, that's gonna be easy. To, you know, break her out. Alright, we're leaving. Pardon me, little lady. She left her book! And she probably spilled her orange juice everywhere. <laughs> All over the car. Or, or the, car. the car? She has a car in there? <laughs> no, that's but that's like what it's like if you get shoved in the trunk of a car. I don't know. Maybe that's what I was thinking. Of. All of a sudden, I'm left behind alone. Alone in the room that stole the little lady's smile away five years ago. The little lady's gone now, leaving me with only a few new facts. A few very heavy, very sad facts. Does Lynn know all about this? No, because she's still seeking to see if there's innocence. One other thing stands out in my mind. I can sense your presence. The sum of that kidnapper's final words. Do those two know? Do the kidnappers know about the powers of the dead? Is that the whole chapter? Wow, that is a short chapter, holy cow. Let's do two in one. No, we're not doing two in one video. Sorry. This will just be a shorter than average video, I suppose. How long will this even be? Half hour? Yeah, roughly a half hour. Thanks for watching, everybody. Wow, okay, so that was chapter 11. I'm trying to remember what happens all in the next few chapters. I mean, you don't have to remember. That's true. Anyhow, look forward to next time. Uh, I can't remember exactly where we'll be going, but it's sure to be a hoot and a half. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.